Hey there everybody! So I'm going to make a video here on how to upload your own images to Cricut Design Space. I've done some tutorials on this before. I teach all of this in depth inside of my exclusive programs like Cutting Edge Crafters or in my ebook uh, Cricut Confidence, but I wanted to make just a short video for just a quick how-to and I'm going to put this up on the blog um, just for those beginners who just want to know real fast, you know, how do I get my SVG files or images that I purchase off of like Etsy or other sites or um, that you might get from like bloggers like me that are free on our blog. How do I get them into design space? Because I know that's a huge question for beginners and um, it's not at all hard, but it may not be obvious to everybody who's brand new. So uh, first things first, you need to open up Cricut Design Space. So this is uh, what your welcome screen will look like. It might look different. Um, as far as images, because these are my images here. Um, and then you see over here where it says new project, go ahead and click on that, and that will navigate you to the actual Canvas workspace of Cricut Design Space. So over here on our left-hand side, we have what's called the design panel. And this consists of a lot of different buttons, of which I'm not gonna go all into right now. But what we wanna focus on here is the upload button at the very bottom left side. To upload an SVG layered image, or a print then cut image, um, which means that it will be printed out on your printer and then cut out with Cricut, you'll use this uh, same upload button no matter which type of image. So if we click on that, we'll be presented with a screen like this, and it gives you the formats here that Cricut will accept. Always use SVG when you can over DXF because SVGs have more data stored in them and they are overall better files. Um, when it comes to images themselves, flattened images that you would use on a printer, um, JPEG or PNG will ultimately work. Um, I recommend working with PNG if you can. Um, so one thing that some newbies don't understand is that uh, PDFs do not work with Cricut Design Space. It is a different type of data, so it must be one of these. So if you have a PDF file, make sure you're selecting SVG, JPEG, or PNG images um, and, and searching for those file types. Um, so right here we have our upload button. So you're just going to click on Upload Image. And then it's going to tell you to browse your computer or you can drag the files here. I usually just browse my computer. And here I have a project I've been working on, um, and here's a bunch of rainbow SVG files I've designed, which, by the way, these are free on my blog. If you would like to download them, I'll link them below for you. Um, and I want to just point out real quick here what the difference is between an image as far as a JPEG or a PNG and an actual SVG file. The easiest way to recognize these files, and it might look different on your computer, is to hover over them and you see that it gives the information. So when I hover over this butterfly image, it says it's a PNG file, which means it is a flattened image. And if I were to bring this in right now, let me click on it, it's gonna walk me through the process of saving it as a print then cut that will actually be printed out in ink on my printer, and then Cricut will cut these shapes out for me. So if you're wanting to do ink rather than working with vinyl or paper, then this is what you would use a print then cut for. So this is the process that it would take you through. I always select complexed, hit continue. If you need to make any modifications, I generally don't, but if you do, you can erase parts of the image here. Um, and then once you're done with that, click continue again. Make sure it stays on the save as print then cut option. Click save and then it'll drop it here into your recently uploaded images. And then you'll need to actually select it with a green little box around it. It'll show you right here that it has also been selected. And then you will insert it into your canvas. Depending on how large your image is or how high quality or how many dots per inch DPI it is, it might take a few seconds to load. So here is my image that has been brought in. And you can see over here in our layers panel, it says that it is a print then cut, meaning it will print out on our printer with ink. Now, what if we don't want to use ink? What if we want to cut all this out in vinyl or in cardstock? Then you're going to want to use an SVG cut file. So I'm going to show you that now, and I'm going to bring the exact same file in, but it's going to be saved in a different format. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to that Upload button. I'm going to click Upload Image. I'm going to browse my computer again, and I have my SVGs saved right here. <clears throat> now this is going to look different 
for everybody. So this is very important. I have a graphic software called Inkscape on my computer, so that's why this icon looks like this. It is very likely that your icon might look like um, a Chrome, Earthlink, or Firefox image, because if you don't have any graphic software installed on your computer, you will likely have um, a browser icon from like the internet showing as it. But if you hover over it, it should still show you the type of file that it is. In some cases, it may show it as an HTML file, and that's just because your computer's not recognizing it as an SVG or it has a default, um, it's defaulting to showing that as how it's saved. Um, it should still load in for you, no problem when you click on it. So look for the one that says SVG, and I'm going to click on, where's my butterflies? Yeah, my rainbow butterflies here. I'm just gonna hit open. <clears throat> You can see the screen looks a little bit different here, but our uploaded image is being previewed right here. If you wanna add any tags to remember it um, or to search it by, you can. Click Save again. And then there we go, it's dropped into our recently uploaded images here. I'm again gonna select that so it's highlighted with a green box. You can see that it is selected right here and I'm gonna insert it into my canvas. Okay, so now this one we just inserted is an SVG file. Look over here in the layers panel again. You can see how each one of these colors is an actual layer, as opposed to this first one, which is a flattened single image that will get printed with ink. So SVG images allow us to layer and use materials like vinyl and cardstock, etc. And print and cuts allow us to um, use printed ink and then cut silhouettes of our shapes out on our Cricut machine. So that is exactly how you get SVG images or flattened PNG and JPEG images into Cricut Design Space. Your type of file will always be reflected in your layers panel to your right, which is this area over here. And there's so much more, of course, to learn in Design Space, but I just wanted to show you the basics of bringing the files in, because I know that is a big thing that a lot of people want to know. And if you want to know more about how to do everything inside of Design Space, I'd like to invite you to my free workshop, which I'm going to link below, or you might be interested in downloading my Cricut Confidence ebook, which covers all of the basics inside of Design Space. We go over all the tools and how to use everything and what they all mean, and it helps you just make sense of everything. So I hope this was helpful to you guys and to the beginners out there, and um, I'll see you all next time.